Normandy, the greatest invasion ever undertaken. Here, the Coast Guard manned attack transport Bayfield served as flagship off Utah Beach. At H hour, landing craft hit the beaches, the beginning of the bloody road to Berlin. had been fortifying this hub of the Marianas in preparation for a day like this. But costly experience had taught the landing crews how to get their men ashore under enemy fire. invasions was the fastest and least costly of all, for there was little opposition from the enemy in establishing the beachhead. Philippines, Coast Guard personnel of LSTs, frigates, and such transports as the Callaway, Cambria, Cavalier, Middleton, Mitchell, Wood, and others helped to fulfill the American pledge to return and free the islands from the invader. bombarded by our ships and planes for three days and nights, the landing boats attempting to put Marines ashore took terrific punishment, far exceeding anything they had ever experienced. battle in the Marine Corps' long history. To offset the high losses, Coast Guard manned LSTs moved in, bringing desperately needed reinforcements and supplies. invasion force ever assembled in the Pacific went into action only 330 miles from the Japanese mainland. The initial stages of the invasion were marked by a surprising lack of enemy resistance, giving no sign of the desperate struggle that was to later encounter our troops inland. made a final 
final suicidal attempt with their kamikazes to blast our ships off the sea. continuous sea and air bombardment and the atomic bomb soon brought total defeat to Japan. To foreign shores in the Pacific, American ships again sailed in peace. Greenland, Guadalcanal, Africa, Normandy, Okinawa, and five long years of Coast Guard at war ended on the home island of the crushed Empire of Japan.